Hello all, I'm Matt, and I want to talk about PragerU's video, Climate Change, What Do Scientists Say? Because it does a great job of demonstrating the misinformation campaign that is pretty prevalent in discussions about climate change. The video professes to explain what the scientific community says and believes about climate change, but it consistently fails to do so and blatantly lies about the subject in such a way that someone taking the video at face value would be much less concerned about climate change than they should be. I recommend you watch the video before mine if you haven't. It's relatively short, and watching it in full can show you how misinformation can be presented in very believable ways. I'll link it and all of my sources in the description. So the video is delivered by Richard Lindzen, an atmospheric physicist who taught at MIT for 30 years and has published more than 200 scientific papers and books, as he says. He was also a lead author of a chapter of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change's 2001 Third Assessment Report on Climate Change. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, or the IPCC, is one of the leading authorities on climate change, as it's the global panel dedicated to the subject. So, Lindzen is a relevant expert in the field. It is also pertinent to note that he has been vocally critical of the scientific consensus on climate change prior to this video, and was previously a senior fellow at the Cato Institute, a libertarian think tank which was founded as the Charles Koch Foundation and founded by Charles Koch and two others. Such a connection to the petroleum industry does stand out as a red flag to me, given that the petroleum industry has a vested interest in downplaying the potential threats of greenhouse gas-induced climate change. Now, this is just background and context. It doesn't necessarily mean anything about the content of the video either way. So let's take a look at that. What do Lindzen and PragerU have to say about what the scientists say? Turns out, it's nothing good and it's a lot bad. Even in the introduction of the video, a couple misleading points are subtly assumed. At 20 seconds in the video, Lindzen says that it seems that the less the climate changes, the louder the voices of the climate alarmists get. Voices about climate change are getting louder, even though there has not been any recent warming. And a graph is shown in the background to try and support the claim of no recent warming. There are no sources for this graph. Maybe they were included in the script, but the link to the script is dead. Now, voices about climate change have been getting louder in the past couple decades. So there is an argument to be made that the time frame of this graph is appropriate. But climate trends are not measured across singular decades, and looking at a broader time frame shows the severity and reality of the warming. A slight pause in warming is noticeable in the decade starting in the early 2000s, as Lindzen's graph shows, but the overall long-term trend upwards is unquestionable, and warming has since continued. Another piece of information that Lindzen's graph does not show is that the years displayed have been many of the hottest years ever recorded. So even if warming did stop, which it hasn't on the long term, People complaining about the warming that brought them the hottest decades on record is pretty justifiable. And considering this issue came up in the first 10 seconds of the actual content of the video, things aren't looking too hot for Lindzen and PragerU, unlike for the planet. There's a second, even subtler point in the intro that's also a problem. Lindzen says, On the issue of global warming, or as it is now called, climate change. This is a pretty common tactic on the right, as shown by people like Donald Trump and Ted Cruz, implying that scientists and the left used to call the phenomena in question global warming, but after a supposed stall in warming and unfruitfulness on the political side, changed the nomenclature to the phrase climate change to save face. This is false as climate change and global warming refer to two distinct things, though global warming is viewed as a cause of climate change. Also, both terms have been used for a significant amount of time, even in mainstream politics. Anyone notice? The last, oh, two, three years, the terms magically changed. It had been global warming, and then suddenly it became climate change. Due to climate change, climate change, climate change. Global solutions to climate change, climate change. IPCC, process of international cooperation on global climate change. The science of climate change. First, we know the surface temperature of the Earth is warming. We can begin now to address the factors that contribute to climate change. Climate change. On the issue of climate change. My cabinet level working group on climate change advancing the science on climate change. The UN framework con convention on climate change. My administration will establish the U.S. Climate Change Research Initiative. Climate change research. Climate change science. The causes and impacts of climate change. We're creating the National Climate Change Technology Initiative. The regional impacts of climate change. Common approaches to climate change confronting global climate change. So even from the outset, we can see that this video is not going to be one of honest information and communication. Now, Lindzen almost gets through his description of the IPCC scientists, the representatives of the climate science community as a whole, without any problems. But his characterization of their views on the future are, again, misleading. When referring to the IPCC scientists' beliefs about the burning of fossil fuels, this might eventually dangerously heat the planet, are the words he uses. 
Now this Prager video was released in 2016. So let's look at what the IPCC's 2014 climate change report says. Quoting from the summary for policymakers, Continued emission in greenhouse gases will cause further warming and long-lasting changes in all components of the climate system, increasing the likelihood of severe, pervasive, and irreversible impacts for people and ecosystems. Limiting climate change would require substantial and sustained reductions in greenhouse gas emissions, which, together with adaptation, can limit climate change risks. End quote. And, quote, Surface temperature is projected to rise over the 21st century under all assessed emission scenarios. It is very likely, this means over 90% chance, that heat waves will occur more often and last longer, and that extreme participation events will become more intense and frequent in many regions. The ocean will continue to warm and acidify, and global mean sea level to rise. This language that the actual scientists use is much, much stronger than Lindzen's characterization, to the degree that they don't even make the same point. Might eventually and over a 90% chance are not terms which can easily be equated. Someone who just watched the Prager video would not in any way come to the conclusion presented by the actual IPCC or the community of climate scientists as a whole. Here, we see Lindsay not accurately portraying what scientists say as the title of the video suggests he would. In describing his own group, the quote skeptics of group 2 as he puts it in the video, Lindsay makes it seem like the factors he brings up are ignored by the IPCC scientists and any scientist who agrees with the overall consensus because otherwise his group would not be unique in noting them, and it would not be a feature of only the skeptics. In response to this, I would say that the IPCC report has an entire section entitled Observed Changes and Their Causes, which highlights the effect of greenhouse gases, but also other natural factors like the sun. Now when I see this argument brought up, that the climate naturally changes because of things like the sun and the orbit of the earth, and it has done so forever, in an effort to downplay human-caused climate change, it kind of irks me. See, my education isn't in climate sciences, but it is in astrophysics. So while I don't personally have any expertise in stuff like clouds and the sea, I have learned quite a bit about stars and planets, specifically our star and planet, the sun and the earth. When I hear someone bring up the sun and the earth's orbit as reasons to disbelieve man-made climate change, I know that the party making these claims is either uninformed or acting maliciously or in bad faith. I say this because of the following. In terms of the sun, solar energy comes to the Earth in cycles, which occur with a periodicity of around a decade. We can and do measure these cycles, and there is no evidence that they have recently continually gone up in energy to cause something like the warming we are experiencing. Now, based on the characteristics of the orbit of the Earth, the sun can cause things like ice ages, and it does so, again, in cycles. This is what has caused our previous cyclical ice ages to occur. These are called the Milankovitch cycles, after Serbian geophysicist and astronomer Milutin Milankovitch. They deal with things such as the Earth's eccentricity, or how elliptical our orbit around the Sun is, the tilt of the Earth's axis, and the precession of that axis. Because these cycles can produce such strong effects like ice ages, climate change deniers, and at this point I think it is more appropriate to use denier than skeptic, point to them as more convincing causes of climate change than greenhouse gases. Now there's just one problem with this theory. The Milankovitch cycles occur over periods of tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands of years. The warming we are currently experiencing has taken place on the order of tens to hundreds of years. That's a 1,000 times difference in time scale. So there's no chance that these are causing our current warming. There's simply no way that they could cause a change this fast as the cycles themselves take so much longer. And other factors that could be causes of our warming have been taken into account by the IPCC as they explicitly state in their reports. The result is this. There can be no reasonable doubt about the fact that CO2 and greenhouse gases are the primary cause of our observed warming, and more emissions will cause more warming. The IPCC states this unequivocally. For Lindzen to try and paint the picture that only his group of skeptics are bringing up or thinking about these other possible factors is disingenuous and discredits the work of the majority of climate scientists. So far, most of the problems with this video have been to some degree subtle, forgoing the characterization of the IPCC scientists' future beliefs. But Lindzen really kicks it into high gear with a line when he tries to find common ground between the IPCC and the skeptics, listing a set of supposed agreements between the two groups. Let's break this list down point by point. 1. The climate is always changing. This is a trivial statement only made to downplay the impact of current climate change. The issue is not that the climate is changing, everyone agrees that it always has changed and will continue to do so. The issue is that it is changing so rapidly, at an unprecedented rate, and that there are no natural causes that can explain it. 
The climate has always changed, but it has never, to our knowledge, changed like it is currently changing. Two, CO2 is a greenhouse gas without which life on Earth is not possible, but adding it to the atmosphere should lead to some warming. This is another kind of trivial statement, but I guess it is one that they agree upon, so he got that right. Of course CO2 is a necessary part of life. That isn't in question or an issue. No one wants to delete all CO2 from the atmosphere, not even Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. The issue is that humans have caused the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere to rise, on the order of just decades, to a point higher than it has been for the past 800,000 years. This leads to point three. Atmospheric levels of CO2 have been increasing since the end of the Little Ice Age in the 19th century. CO2 levels have been rising, but they have clearly skyrocketed exponentially because of man. They have gone much, much past any natural process would have pushed them given the time frame. Natural, geological, atmospheric, and or astronomical processes almost never happen over the course of decades. But the change we're seeing is happening over that time frame. Four. Over this period, past two centuries, the global mean temperature has increased slightly and erratically by about 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit or 1 degree Celsius. But only since the 1960s have man's greenhouse emissions been sufficient to play a role. Saying that global mean temperatures have increased only slightly, as Lindzen does, is problematic as the observed change is alarmingly fast based on what we know about previous warmings. This claim, though, pales in comparison to the next and final point on Lindzen's list. Five, given the complexity of climate, no confident prediction about future global mean temperature or its impact can be made. The IPCC acknowledged in its own 2007 report that, quote, the long-term prediction of future climate states is not possible, end quote. This is probably the strongest, boldest lie in the entire video. Lindzen is supposedly quoting the IPCC's 2007 AR4 report, but this report is public, anyone can find it, download it, read it, and when I search for this quote in all of the documents that make up that report, from the synthesis report, from the individual working group reports, from the summary for policymakers, I couldn't find his quote, and I couldn't find any claims similar to it either. Now I can show you what I did find, which as you can probably guess at this point, paints a very different picture than what Lindzen is claiming from the IPCC's 2007 report. Quote, Continued greenhouse gas emissions at or above current rates would cause further warming and induce many changes in the global climate system during the 21st century that would very likely, again this means above 90% certainty, be larger than those observed during the 20th century. This very likely prediction made by the IPCC in the report that Lindzen is referencing is in direct contradiction with what Lindzen claims the IPCC agrees with him about, that Quote, no confident prediction about future global mean temperature or its impact can be made, end quote. This is a confident prediction about future global mean temperature. In fact, it's a very confident prediction. Over 90% certainty sounds very confident to me, especially when dealing with something as complex as future climate states. I don't know how Lindzen could defend this statement in any way. It is simply a lie. Most importantly, the scenario that the burning of fossil fuels leads to catastrophe isn't part of what either group asserts. The two quotes I presented earlier from the IPCC's 2014 report, which Lindzen and PragerU had access to when making this 2016 video, disprove his final and self-asserted most important claim. The IPCC unambiguously states that the burning of fossil fuels on the current scale leads to catastrophe a realization of severe, pervasive, and irreversible impacts for people and ecosystems, and longer-lasting, more frequent heat waves and participation events, along with rising sea levels of a warmer, more acidic ocean, all of which would assuredly lead to significant loss of human life and drastic alteration of our current society, sound unambiguously like catastrophe to me. Lindzen then goes on to blame the group three of politicians, environmentalists, and media for building up the scare of climate change, when it is clear that his characterization of the scientific consensus represented by the first group is unabashedly partisan and false. People are scared and alarmed about climate change because the vast majority of scientists that study the climate say that it is a major problem that needs to be addressed, and they give evidence for their claim. 
someone who just watched this Prager video would not come away with this understanding because Lindzen does not portray what scientists say accurately. He and PragerU misrepresent and lie about the issue and about what scientists say about the issue. Based on the high volume of their videos espousing similar misinformation, I can only assume this is an intentional and deliberate attempt to sow doubt in scientific institutions and confuse the public in an effort of personal gain. Ironically, Lindzen ends his video claiming that the truth cannot be buried, when he and people like him and organizations like PragerU are doing everything they can to bury it. They won't be able to bury the truth. The climate will have the final word on that.